we are asked to find the perimeter and area of the L-shaped polygon. The perimeter of any polygon is the length around the outside of the polygon, which means to find the perimeter, we sum the length of all of the sides. But notice how we don't have the length of this side or this side. Let's work on determining these missing lengths. Notice how this side has a length of 10.9 meters. This length must be the same as this missing length plus this length, which we know is 3.8 meters. And therefore, to find this missing length, we subtract 3.8 from 10.9. 10.9 minus 3.8 is equal to 7.1. This missing length is 7.1 meters. And now so we're going to determine this missing length. We'll notice that this length is 12.6 meters, which must be the same length as this missing length, plus the length of this side, which is four meters. And therefore, the length of this missing side must be 12.6 meters minus four meters, which is 8.6 meters. Now that we have the lengths of all of the sides, we can determine the perimeter. If we start here, their perimeter is equal to 3.8 meters plus 12.6 meters plus 10.9 meters plus 4 meters plus 7.1 meters plus 8.6 meters. Mm -hmm. Let's write this sum vertically. Beginning with 3.8, we have 3.8 plus 12.6. We need to make sure we do line up the corresponding place values plus 10.9 plus 4 which I'll write as 4.0 plus 7.1 plus 8.6. Before we begin adding, we bring the decimal point down. And now we begin adding in the tenths place value. We have 8 plus 6, which is 14, plus 9, which is 23, plus 1 is 24, plus 6 is 30. We've recorded 0 in the tenths place value, perform an exchange, and write a three in the ones place value. And now we add the digits in the ones place value. Three plus three plus two is eight, plus four is 12, plus seven is 19, plus eight is 27. Record the seven in the ones place value, perform an exchange, and record the two in the tens place value. In the tens place value, we have two plus one plus one, which is four. So now we know the perimeter equals 47 or 47.0 meters. Because the units are already given, we enter 47. And now we need to determine the area. There's not a special area formula to determine the area of an L-shaped polygon, and therefore, we will have to decompose this area or break it up into smaller areas that we can more easily find the area of. Notice how we could break this up into two rectangles if we cut the polygon here or here. Let's go ahead and cut the polygon here. And now we have two rectangles, which we can find the area using the area formula, length times width. The area of the given polygon is equal to the area of this rectangle plus the area of this rectangle. Notice how the length of the rectangle on the left is 10.9 meters, this length, and the width is four meters. The area of the rectangle on the left is 10.9 meters times four meters, and then we have plus the area of the rectangle on the right. We need to be careful here. This side has a length of 8.6 meters, not 12.6. So the length is 8.6 meters, and the width is 3.8 meters. And therefore, the area of the second rectangle is 8.6 meters times 3.8 meters. And now we need to determine these two products and then the sum. This product must contain one decimal place. The product is 43.6. Next, we have 8.6 times 3.8. This product must contain two decimal places. The product is 32.68. The area of the L-shaped polygon is equal to 43.6 square meters plus 32.68 square meters. And now we'll find the sum. 
we will write 43.6 as 43.60. The area of the polygon is 76.28 square meters. Because the units are already given, we enter 76.28. I hope you found this helpful.